Well, Theo, welcome to Macclesfield Town. Happy to get the deal done. Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, obviously, we sorted out over just the end of last week and um, only just got it finalised, so I'm pleased to have got it done. What was it that attracted you to Macclesfield Town? Um, well, I mean, it's obviously a good bunch of lads and great staff, and obviously with the gaffer and where he's played and stuff, it's a great place that I can um, push on and learn. So obviously that's what I'm be looking to do. You've been training for the team for a few weeks now. Um, how would you describe the mood in the camp at present? Uh, the mood's good, to be fair. Um, all the lads seem happy. Um, I've settled in well. Um, I'm comfortable here, so I mean, I like the environment and the mood's good at the moment. Um, we've had some decent pre-season showings as well of late. Um, they must have given everyone a great deal of optimism too. Yeah, of course, we've had um, a couple of tough games. and um, But I mean, that's always good in pre-season because obviously it gives us a good insight towards the season. Um, but I think we've performed well, to be fair, and obviously... We're playing Wigan and Blackburn, obviously, mm. championship sides. It's a good test for us, and I thought we competed well. In terms of yourself, how would you describe you as a player? <laughs> um, well, obviously, I want to obviously give my best on the pitch, and obviously, I know on my day I can um, perform well, um, and obviously, that's what I'll be looking to do. Let's just spend a minute or two looking back at your career today, which all started down the road at Stoke City, didn't it? Yeah, many years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, obviously I was. I went there when I was about seven, and obviously I was there until I was six, eight, 18, 18 it was. Um, so obviously, um, obviously I grew up around there, and obviously it was local for me. And then obviously I've been to a few different clubs since then. Yeah, I mean, um, after short spells at Oldham and Warsaw, you then moved out on loan to Chester. Um, and it was there that you really got a taste of first-team football, wasn't it? Yeah, Chester, when I went on loan there, that was my first time of um, first-team football. Like, mm. It was a, probably a little bit of a shock to me, to be fair. I was only 19 at the time. And it was a lot different because before that, I'd only played um, like youth team and stuff like that, 23s, yeah. and it's not the same. So it was a good test for me, and obviously I think that was like a major, major part of my career to move forward. And obviously that would give me a, a good grounding in terms of being in and around the first team, playing for uh, competitive football week in, week out. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I was just a little boy then. Um, obviously, playing with men and stuff, you see it, so everything's a lot different. Um, but I think like for any young player, that that's probably the best thing you could ever do in your career. You then spent a season up in Gateshead and last year returned to the other side of the Potteries um, by signing for Fort Vale, didn't you? Yeah, of course. I enjoyed my time at Gateshead. Um, it was obviously my first time, the furthest I've ever moved to play football, to be fair. But um, yeah, I did really enjoy it. And then obviously I came back to Port Vale, funny enough, it was down the road from my home. So that was handy in terms of travelling. But yeah, I enjoyed it at Port Vale as well. Obviously linked up with your own manager, Neil Aspin, as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, obviously I knew Neil from um, Gateshead. Um, and obviously we worked well together. And um, obviously when I was at Port Vale, it was just like the same as being at Gateshead for me, really. So obviously I could do what I needed to do. So in terms of your own career progression, what do you hope to achieve here at Macclesfield? Oh, well, I want to give my best for the team. And obviously, as a team, we want to move forward and, you know, do as well as we can and win as many games as we can. And in terms of what the manager said to you, um, what do you think his aims are for the season and how do you hope to, to be able to achieve that? Well, of course, it's obviously a team game. So obviously, with all the players, the staff, we can all put together something and hopefully kick on and move forward. Yeah, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.